stone, five pounds. Seventeen stone, three pounds, five ounces, seventeen, three pounds for David Allen. So Dave Allen weighs in at 241 pounds ahead of his fight tomorrow night against David Price. Price weighed in at 257. Now 241 for Dave Allen is a decent weight. He was 244 against Lucas Brown. Uh, he was 260 against Tony Yoka, 258 against Nick Webb. He, this is the lightest that Dave Allen's been at 241 since the Lemroy Thomas rematch. So that's definitely... A good sign for Dave Allen that he's come in nice and light. He's obviously trained very hard. He's taken this seriously. And as far as David Price and his weight, at 257 pounds, it's five pounds heavier than he was against Cash Ali. Uh, let me see now. Four pounds heavier than he was against Tom Little. It's lighter than he was against Kuzmin. And it's a pound more than he was against Povetkin. So, you know, 257 is not a bad weight for David Price. He's obviously an extremely tall man at 6'8". It's not as light as David Price was in his early career. So, for example, against the likes of John McDermott, he was 246. Against Sam Sexton, he was 245. Audley Harrison, 247. So, if you go back to David Price's, if you want to call it his heyday, when he was knocking out people like Aldi Harrison and Matt Skelton, uh, he was around 247 to 250. In fact, the Tony Thompson, the first fight, he was 247. The second Thompson fight, he was 250. So yeah, David Price, back in his 20s, I guess late 20s, he was in the mid to high 240s. Now he's in the high 250s. So a decent weight for him, I guess. Does the fact that he has gained so much weight over the years impact on his stamina? Or would have would his stamina have been as poor uh, as it is now anyway, regardless what weight he is? That's a question for you guys. I saw the fighter meeting. I think it's on a Matchroom YouTube channel. Or it might be on the Sky channel, one of the two, Skyboxing. Uh I saw the fight in meeting with David Price and he was talking about the Cash Ali fight. And this is disturbing, people. I mean, we could all see it, but now you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. David Price said that he has some kind of psychological block and he's been working with a sports psychologist because even in the Cash Ali fight, he admitted that he was feeling really tired after a couple of rounds. And he believes it's a mental thing, that there's something in his mind whether it's the pressure he puts on himself or what, uh, something in his mind starts working against him and it just depletes his energy. Not a good sign because we know Dave Allen, particularly when he's trained hard, he can go the rounds. We saw that against Tony Yoka. And against Tony Yoka, he hadn't even trained hard. <laughs> you know, Dave Allen is kind of the opposite of David Price. He is a very slow starter usually, Dave Allen. He's a guy who takes a few rounds to get warmed up and start throwing punches. Whereas David Price is normally a guy who's going to land his best shots early. And as the fight progresses, he's going to start slowing down and potentially unravel. The last time David Price actually went long in a fight, if I'm just looking through his, uh, looking through his uh, record here, the Christian Hammer fight went seven rounds. He lost that. But in terms of going the distance was back in 2014 when he fought a guy called Zavarotny. The guy's surname was Zavarotny. I remember that fight in Germany. That's when uh, Price was with the Sauerlands. Is he still with the Sauerlands now? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I remember the Zavarotny fight. That was right after the Parler fight where he got dropped by a clothesline <laughs> against Parler. So yeah, Zavarotny, that went 10 rounds uh, Price won a unanimous decision, a wide unanimous decision, but he never came close to stopping Zavarotny, interestingly enough. Uh, but that was the last time that Price actually got those rounds in. <laughs> That's the last time that he showed he had some kind of stamina about him because the guy did make him work. And interestingly, Price weighed 252 pounds for that fight. So not a massive amount lighter than he is now, particularly not for a man as tall as he is. So yeah, Going to be an interesting fight here, people. Uh, Allen, lighter than usual. David Price, kind of his 
average weight, really. Let me know how you guys think this fight is going to play out. I mean, you have to imagine that Price's best opportunity is going to be early. But is Price, try Price trying to bluff Dave Allen by saying that he's going to come out all guns blazing and let his hands go early? Is he actually intending to box Dave Allen? You know, stick and move and maybe rely on his amateur pedigree. Because there's no question that David Price has got a better pedigree than Dave Allen. He's got better technique. Uh, he's seen the likes of a Dave Allen, you know, that kind of fighter, probably thousands of times through sparring in the gyms and uh, all those amateur fights he had. Remember, he was an Olympian and he, in so many different top level international amateur tournaments. He must have seen the Dave Allen type style a million times because, you know, no disrespect to Dave Allen. He's a great guy. Uh, but in terms of his technical ability, he is basic. You know, he's a very limited fighter. So perhaps David Price will be looking to revert back to his amateur days and try and make it as technical a fight as possible. And if he does that, perhaps opportunities will open up for him to land his big shots and uh, upset the apple cart. Because this really, I mean, certainly the way Dave Allen's people see it, is Dave Allen's almost his coming out party. I know he beat Lucas Brown and, you know, he's had a couple decent wins lately, but this will be the biggest name on his scalp so far. Some people would say it was Lucas Brown, but Lucas Brown, you know, in the UK is not as well known as David Price for better or for worse, right? So this is the guy who Dave Allen has been gunning for for years. If you remember when Dave Allen first came on the scene, he was calling out David Price. Well, now he's got his fight. So, yeah, it, it feels as though this fight has been set up for Dave Allen to look good. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Will it backfire on him? <laughs> you know, boxing has a funny way of doing that to you. When this fight was first made, I felt 100% that Dave Allen was going to win this one because we were coming off those David Price performances against Tom Little and Cash Ali where he looked vulnerable in both for my money. Even though he won, to me, he looked vulnerable. And I think Dave Allen is a much better fighter than both of those guys. You know, truth be told. So it's going to be intriguing. I certainly don't count David Price's power out. As I mentioned in a previous video, we were having some debate in my Facebook boxing group where, you know, some guys were saying, Pricey ain't got the power to hurt Dave Allen. Well, Dave Allen disputes that. Dave Allen, in interviews this week, has been saying, I don't get hit as flush as people think I do. <laughs> and if David Price hits me properly, I'm going to go down. So Dave Allen's under no illusions that he could go down if David Price catches him with a right shot, which is what I've been saying from day dot. Right? <laughs> don't underestimate Price's power. If he catches Dave Allen properly, He's going to seriously hurt him. And Dave Allen actually admitted that he has been knocked out once in sparring many, many years ago. He said when he was 17 years old, uh, he did get knocked out in sparring. But since then, he says he's never been knocked out. Uh, but anybody can be knocked out. Yeah, it just depends on how hard you're going to get hit, whereabouts you. I mean, different people have got spots where they're more vulnerable. Some people are more vulnerable in the temple. Some people are more vulnerable in the chin. You know, some people are more vulnerable getting hit on the ear. You know, some people getting hit square in the mouth. Different spots, uh, people are more vulnerable. So will David Price manage to catch David Allen on his most vulnerable spot? We'll see. <laughs> I'm still going to stick with my original prediction of Dave Allen to win the fight by stoppage or knockout. But I wouldn't count David Price out. I really wouldn't. Uh, I feel like his back's against the wall here, but he's not up against the Povetkin, you know? He's not even up against a Christian Hammer who had a much more extensive amateur background than Dave Allen, right? He's just up against Dave Allen who had very few amateur, amateur fights, who takes a lot of punishment early in fights. That's typical, the typical Dave Allen pattern is to take loads of shots early. <laughs> even against Lucas Brown, he was taking loads of shots early. And then whether the storm come through and, you know, grind his opponent down against Nick Webb, he took loads of shots early. 
So, or maybe, you know, maybe this will be the fight because Dave Allen is lighter and because his confidence is at an all-time high. Maybe this is a fight where he won't take loads of shots early. Maybe this is a fight where he'll actually start fast and get David Price on the chin ASAP. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.